Hello everybody, thank you again for joining me here for another How It Works video. Um, my name is Andrew Howe and today I'm going to be presenting to you how to use Image USB to be able to install Big Sur onto your USB to make it, it to make it into a bootable media through Windows. So again, you're basically creating a bootable installer for Mac OS Big Sur through Windows. So pretty much what I've already done is I had taken a installer that I've made and that it has been patched by um, uh, Ben Sova. And so basically this will allow you to be able to patch unsupported Macs as well as install a legitimate version of Big Sur. So pretty much um, I took my USB and I created um, a bin file of the bootable media. And so basically what I did, I took my USB and I cloned it. And so I wanted you guys to be able to have that bin file and be able to install that onto your flash drive. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going, I'm pretty much going to show you how to be able to install that bin file to your flash drive. So let me go ahead and refresh my flash drive here and as you can see I plugged in my flash drive, I hit refresh, it showed up here and now I'm able to format it. So once you reformat your flash drive, the next step is for you to then write the bin. And again, the file that we're going to be writing the bin is going to be um, this file right here under my downloads called Big Sur in parentheses image USB backup dot bin. So that's what we're going to be loading into this program so that you can be able to make this installer. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh. Now that will allow me to go ahead and create another process. So now what I'm going to do is select write image to USB before whenever I made the image, created an image from USB. Went to, I'm pretty much going to go to browse, Big Sur, the dot bin, right? Click it and then go ahead and write it. So this will take a little bit of time. Um, probably any, you know, depends on your hard drive and the performance of your computer, but most likely uh, for me it's about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and then uh, we'll recap the video. Thank you. What we're going to do is then hit OK once the imaging is completed. And then after that, your USB should be good to go. Okay guys, so as you can see, I have my USB still plugged into the Mac. I went ahead and shut down Windows and have the computer completely shut down. I'm going to go ahead and initiate a... a um, option boot up so basically you're going to hold down the option key until you will see your boot screen with multiple different bootables right come up so these are all the bootable medias that I'm able to boot into so this one's my Windows partition, this one's my Mac OS Big Sur that I already have installed, and then there is the flashlight or the flash drive. So basically you go ahead and you just basically boot it up and just for proof that it works, I'm just gonna go ahead and continue the boot up. <clears throat> So the little flash drive I ended up ripping it from, this little guy is, is the original. So this is what I cloned it from. And that 
is my 32 gig flash drive that I basically flashed the bin to. And there we have it. <clears throat> and as um, you know, as you know, you know, again, I went through, I patched it with um, Ben Sova. Um, you know, I patched it with his patcher. Um, and basically, all I did was just clone that flash drive to be able to be flashed to other flash drives. Y'all enjoy, and hopefully, this helps somebody.